Ophelia Stanton's boy. Oh, but she is. I never thought you'd make it this far. The labyrinth was supposed to be impenetrable. So this is Euro's power. Cecilia. You mentioned sealing the discordance. How? There is no way of sealing it once it's been released. I'll do everything in my power to prevent you from doing so. You can't hope to win against me with your level of magic. Not as I am now. Guys don't make passes at girls who kick asses. Uh, it's not just me. There's Fanti, the puppet soldiers, Eureka, and Perico too. Granny, she's also with us. <laughs> it's all the same in the end, with or without puppet soldiers. I have the power Not to the punch puppet all soldiers. The Granny and Fanti showed me everything they faced until now. We might not be able to do it, but sealing the discordance is definitely possible. I'm sure of it. I do not understand. Humans cannot even stop the UP once and for all, much less the discordance. Humans are powerless against nature. Every move I've made against you has been a matter of mercy. Know that if I want you dead, it is well within my power. Though I suppose you would have never come this far had you been quick to yield. If you let the discordance continue to grow, this fake world will collapse too, right? What's the point of all that? Very well. Since you've come all this way, perhaps I'll allow you the honor of hearing my plans. I will create a world where my lost children, my dead children, are alive. If the discordance destroys this world, I can use this as the basis for mine. The chances are slim, but I will take my chances. When that happens, the Curio will be nothing more than tools to operate the manor. If it succeeds, then, as I said, due to the complete extinction of the Twin Worlds, a new world will rise in their place. No way. If it doesn't work, then... Everything will simply fade away. Isn't there any other way? There has to be! Puppets? Manania, replicated bodies. There are countless ways of imitating life. But it's impossible to revive a dead person that once housed an actual soul. And why destroy the world? That's precisely why. Reviving a human requires nothing less than the total obliteration of the world. But... Granny hoped for a world where the discordance is sealed. We all do. I won't let you end it. <laughs> so you want to fight? Be warned. I've now reclaimed my full strength. I don't particularly enjoy combat. You said but that before. You are mistaken oh, hi, to think Red you eye. could defeat me. In the moon side. See her body transformed. It seemed to be an imperfect third person, as if she had been one all along. Fighting birds again. I'll show you the power of the Kami clan. The most outstanding witches in the whole tree tribe. Fanti! Fanti! Stop Cece! I'll take care of the rest. My growth is plain to see. Witch's Brigade! Come forth! Right. We are knackered, exhausted, bewildered, dizzy from all the twists and turns in the Escher style Uru Manor yeah, dungeon, but we have finally <laughs> made our way to the final boss uh. to see. In truth, I've been wanting for this game to be over since the yeah, pillars let alone fighting go. And I no longer have any yeah. patience to hide it. I apologize for my ranting, but sometimes a game like this Wait, doesn't what? know when to quit. You've gone and done it now. I love this game. I really enjoyed the adventure. <sighs> I've gone and done it But now. it's such a long endeavor. And when you're doing it all in one go, maybe I should have considered taking a break. I don't know. Star! Uh -huh. Need it back! This should be a good chin up! 
Anyway, so the fight at hand. Cecilia has her sights on destroying all Stella so that she can save her curio, and we are here to stop her. In truth, she's actually the penultimate boss, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Unlike every other boss we have fought so far, Cecilia has three separate health bars. Not only does this prolong the fight, it also means debuffs won't stick from face to face. That's right, this fight is all about going balls to the wall and busting a gut to extract every bit of damage we possibly can. I wasn't a fan as I go on to demonstrate about it. Not only because this fight where you effectively have to put all your eggs in a basket and hope you can kill them before they kill you, it also felt completely unintuitive for a boss who adopts a counter hit stance. Knocking out your team after one hit is not killing them outright. I was never going to implement such a strategy myself if not for watching others succeed with it. Someone who like counters. Stand by in the usual position. Yeah. What am I supposed to do You've about that? Uh. So many. Yeah, big yeah. Uh. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what am I supposed to do about that? He's gonna counter everything. So like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Wide open. Apparently, I'm expected to do that. Yeah, I think it's stupid too. That's a dumb fuck stuff. Do you see what happened? We killed two fucking uh, things. Against a fucker who bloody. You know. Counters? Really? That's my strat? That's so dumb. As I continue kicking and screaming like a child sent to his room, but being told to do his homework, allow me to explain in detail what our plan for this fight actually is. For starters, like our last encounter with this now identified beast, it's a boss battle from within a cutscene. That means our reinforcement has been replenished to a full hundred, and it's our job to make frivolous use of it. Not only to boost the attacks of our heavy DPS Vanguard, but to use RF Haste Boost, which further buffs the stats of the whole brigade. We also use Thunderfrog Blood Twine as an item that significantly boosts the attack of a single puppet and donum spells like Vanguard Sharpen and Vanguard Focus that further multiply the damage dealt and ensure our attacks don't miss. By the way, missed attacks still get countered. Guess this does it. Leave it to me! You just saw there another struggle in dealing with three separate health bars. If you are unlucky, you can end up losing some big damage, because once a puppet knocks out a bar, their turn is over, and any subsequent attacks are cancelled. May not sound like much, but when you're losing attacks on your strongest puppet, attacks which could quite easily be critical for around, say, 70,000 each, it adds up pretty quick. Yeah, what am I supposed to do about this? What am I supposed to do about this? What am I supposed to do about this? I'm expected to do something. Perfect Gotcha. Yep. But now my central line is dead. That's fun. At least the far right. One shot, one eight. Gathering mana. Focus. Focus. I mean focus. 
As if I needed any more reason to despise this fight. Our middle coven of Shinobushis are now down and it falls to our Shinomishiras to carry us over the line. Fortunately, Rentaro got an insane turn there and we have only one final health bar left to deal with. This does it. That won't work. It right. Gotcha. Perfect. Wide open. Gathering money. Yeah. You don't have much strength. Yeah. 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 Hey. Yeah. You've gone. You've gone. You've gone in mm -hmm. now. If I may offer yet another reason why I do not like this fight, let alone this style of fight, it's how irrelevant knocked out members become. Even after resuscitation. Like, sure, it's great we have our Shinobushis back, but it takes two whole turns to get them back up to speed. One to revive them, and another to boost their attack again. Heal them. A fight like this is gone in the blink of an eye. Honestly, it doesn't really matter whether they were revived or not, outside the experience gained you at the end of the fight. Know. See, I can't beat this fight. What the fuck? I can't win. I can't win! Can't do it. Ding dong! The witch is dead! Our bull headed strat of hit very hard does the job. What? We won? What the fuck? How did that happen? This game is dumb. Thank you ever so much for joining me, everyone. And don't forget to like and subscribe and join us next time when who knows what we might fight. Is this the fruits of my labor? Hey, look! I watched somebody else's stupid fox strat, followed it pretty much to a T, and won. It's a shit. Fancy, There's your stupid don't shit. Kill Cece. <laughs> so this is the extent of my abilities. Yeah, we're, the whole abilities. fight is a fucking joke. I hate it. It's a crap fight. Sue's eyes light up mysteriously. This is memory manipulation. I mean, I watched the fight, so okay, let me do the dumb thing. It's fucking trash. Let me throw all my eggs in my basket and just dump like an idiot. Go reckless at base and do nothing else. The fuck off. It's a dumb fucking I mean, I beat it. I, I still say it's fucking dumb as shit. What a dumb fuck. Cecilia's eyes light up, appearing to hold far more power behind them than when Yuri's memory relaxed. I would rather my strat, my intelligence, fucking move a day instead of having to cop off some other fucker who does curious. a dumb fuck strat and gets what? rewarded. What is it? Of course it is. Bisto, drinking again. Oh, At a time like this, how can I not? Am I not allowed to forget my sorrows? Bisto. Zili, raise her hand, raising Bisto's memories. If you make me Why have to fucking go and find again? some dumb fuck strat and copy that in order to beat your Everyone. stupid fucking fight, you fail. Just do it as many times as you I play, need to. You made a crap over and idiot over fight. Again. As long as the children Making something that is, material. you know, like one dimensional no and you have to be one dimensional and... I'm already... Anything intelligent just foils to is not smart. Fucking fine. Bisto is finally. I don't like it. It's over. If that doesn't convince you, I don't fucking like it. It's trash. I don't fucking like it. It's stupid shit. I'm glad it's over. Fuck that stupid fight. Now we have another stupid fight with fucking garbage as well, which is uh the bloody discordances. 
is your resting place. Please be at peace oh forever. God. May your souls find solace. They will never come back. For all eternity are long gone. Those old days. The children. <laughs> Fucking calm down, Jesus. You annoy the hell out of me. Children's souls will rest here. Galeria is a giant gravestone. Forgive me, my children. What are you talking about? For our... For my wrongs. Rest in peace. And... To help you sleep. I Were you the one that instructed the queen to eat the cotton the kid? I'll rock the cradle here every day. I'll sing you a lullaby for a hundred years. And tell you a bedtime story for a thousand years. Until this life of mine has come to an end. If your answer to something if you make something which I... the answer is bash your head against a brick wall like you just don't care you made something really fucking stupid and that's basically what that fight is this suffering. That's right. can I use acidity in the road? no just it's, a little. it's impervious to getting I pH and it has sol solvents in itself memory. can I you know bend it magnetism no, no, it's immune to magnetism. It doesn't actually. It has a, it has a coating, a plastic coating or a rubber coating or whatever. Uh, no, plastic coating. It, can I uh, conduct it with electricity? Maybe that will go in. No, it's got a magnetic. Uh, sorry, it's got a rubber coating, so it's completely immune to, to, to electricity and whatnot. Just bash your head on it a million times and you'll be good. Yeah, I'll bash my head on it a million times. That's fucking stupid. And that's what this fucking fight is. Can I, you know, use packs to increase my mud resistance? She clearly has mud attacks that make my mud resistance better. No, that doesn't fuck or do anything. Can I, you know, gain turns and, and get ahead of her? Unless I fucking, you know, put all my eggs in my fucking basket. You know, with like, you know, certain abilities and shit. Can I do something interesting with the fight? No. Can I spend all my mana just to do nothing but boost my attack to a million, crank it up to 11 and smack the shit out of her? Yeah. That is shit design. That is the epitome of crap. That is what that fight was. Zelia is breathing harshly, tears streaming from beneath her closed eyes. Trash fuck fight. Don't want to ever see the stupid shit fuck fight. Thankfully, hopefully, because I can cave even if I lose this stupid fucking discordance garbage. I don't have to. <laughs> I'll never have a second play for this, this game, I'll tell you that. Fuck that noise. I won't be recommending it to anybody either. Trash. Oh, it was. What? What have I done? It seems your plan will bear fruit. I will seal the discordance myself. That's what you were after, wasn't it? Yes. Very well. I will aid you. Right. But the only thing I'll be able to do is seal its overwhelming power. Seven Trio Dawn, the lantern ends the emblem. He sensed it's time. Cecilia takes it. Is she gonna make me the stupid shit to help me beat this fucking fight? You know, but I need part of it. Seven Curious Power continues to increase with every word Cecilia reads. It cradles them in her. Is there some dumb crap I have to use in this? Cecilia spreads her wings, flying off towards the discordance. Oh, so 
concealed within the curio. All your feelings, wishes, and your hopes. Free yourself to become a work of art! A oh, fuck! Crest of the and moon, Galeria Manor! Become a work a of fart. That's what this fucking trashy fights sequence endgame is. A work of fart. It seemed like Cecilia's show of magic would overpower the scorns, but it swallowed up by it and swallowed up by it instead. Yeah, of course it went. Look of panic appears on her face. You stupid bitch. Thanks for that epileptic warning. Just as Cecilia is about to be engulfed, nine pillars of light manifest surrounding Galeria Manor. Light turns into magical power and it resonates with the manor to cling onto this Gordon, this restricting its ability. This is Madame Martha's legacy, the power of pillars, and now, the power of my butt. <laughs> Cecilia crashes down, and perhaps due to immense strength required to seal the discordance, collapses immediately. It's never our final battle. It keeps going on and on and on. Witch's Brigade, seal the discordance. No, I'll pass. <laughs> 